What's up guys? Welcome back to Fully Spooled. Today it is very noisy. There's a jackhammer in the background and helicopters flying overhead and birds and planes and uh, it's super annoying but I'm gonna film anyway. So uh, today we're gonna be working on the interior of the car again, getting the, uh, the wiring harness removed and then uh, also getting the dash installed and kind of just getting the interior ready to go. the receiver for the remote door locks. Don't need that anymore. the seat belts for now because I don't have a harness yet or seats to even use them so I'll leave them in here for now and take them out once I get a harness installed. So. Fuel pump controller it has a nice uh, heatsink built into it that's cool still trash though <laughs> So that black box was a vent that would vent the trunk gases out, maybe because of the fuel tank, possibly. I'm not sure, but that's where my infestation of macaroni was. <laughs> I gotta go through and take all that stuff out again. And then you can see the other black box on this side it needs to come out still. And with that, all of the wiring is out of the car. Looks good. So here's the entire removed body wiring harness. It weighs in at 33 pounds, uh, not including some of the little like control panels and boxes that I didn't weigh as well as some of the wiring from the doors and that kind of stuff. But 33 pounds in wiring and plastic, it's pretty impressive. There's a pretty sizable crack there now. At some point when I get all the stuff sandblasted, I'll go through and weld this piece together for strength and so there's no, you know, hole in the floor. So here's the underside of the dash. We don't need any of this stuff, any of the ducting. Most, I'll leave the, obviously the brackets on here, but like the ducting stuff can all go. Um, there's, there'll be no more heat or air coming out of this ever again. It might make it flimsier, but lighter. And lighter is what I'm 
interested in. Hey, look at that. All right, now it's all stripped down. I need to get some new fake wood panels here for this. But otherwise, it's good to go. Here we have the dash installed. It looks, you know, I think it looks nice. It, it, it kind of lets you know that you're still driving an SC, you know, a real car, not just some box on wheels. Uh, it still has kind of this fake wood trim thing here, which mine's actually not in very good shape. It, uh, I can get up there. There's a lot of damage to this dash, like this piece is broken and this entire section here just kind of like comes loose. And you can see where the top of the dash is kind of delaminating up here. And that's on both sides. So, you know, it's not in the best shape, but it's all right. It's really, really old. And at some point, I'll get a new dash in here that'll be, you know, in much better condition, hopefully. So I would have liked to have been able to keep the door panels, but they were so far gone. They were just destroyed. So they had to go. But uh, I'll find some way to make these things feel a bit more cozy inside. I mean, you know, this is a race car. So I'm not trying to make this like a luxury cruiser again, like it used to be from the factory. So anyway, there we have it. That's the dash installed. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go through at some point and remove some of this plastic bits I don't need. And then eventually I'll get a new steering column that doesn't have all of the motors built into it. Uh, so that'll be down the line. But I think overall it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And also thanks for bearing with me on this episode. It's not super fun watching me take little clips and little plastic uh, control boxes and things out, but it had to happen. So, uh, but it's over with now and we can move on. We did get some stuff taken care of the episode. We got uh, all the wiring removed from the entire chassis. Uh, the dash is in and then, um, you know, we're in a pretty good place to move on from here. So I mentioned this a few episodes ago. This is my little control panel that I'll have for my switches and everything. Uh, now that the dash is in, I can kind of see where this is going to go. Uh, there's these two little bolts here and two holes up here. So what I'm thinking is I will attach a metal piece or like a metal or carbon fiber or something piece right here that I could then pop this guy in right here and then have room for some gauges above that. So um, that's pretty cool, I think. And then also, of course, I'll have my tack and my other gauges up here as well down the road. Uh, um, so that's really awesome. And now I can see kind of where everything's going to go, which is pretty cool. All right, that wraps up my last little mini episode from Argentina, so thanks for watching. Um, I go home tomorrow, and I'm really excited about that because I have a lot of parts to put on the car, like the new big brake upgrade kit, and i got to get the engine in the car finally for the last time. So really excited about that. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Fully Spooled. Uh, and in the meantime, I've been here three weeks, and I still have no idea how this thing works. If anybody can tell me how this thing works, please, in the comments, let me know. Because honestly, you got this little knob that you turn, right? And then it makes water come out, which makes sense. But uh, why? Why do you need water this high? And what's with this? Why do you have one here and one down here? Why, why two of them? Honestly, and what are these things for? It's just, it's very confusing. Somebody help me out. Thanks.